So over here you can see that I have a storyboard file and I have a vector layer that I made up. So now if I were to take let's say for example the brush tool right here and then I'm going to go around and make a shape just like this. So if I were to take my fill tool now and select out the color and click you can see that the color fills up. But if I were to go around over here and then draw out a shape again and now what I'm going to not do is enclose out the shape completely. In that case what happens is that if I were to click uh, this does not fill up. So what you can do is you can actually use something called the close gap option right here. So let's say I'm going to choose close last gap and if I were to go around and click you can see that it fills up the color now. Let me just press ctrl z and select out another color and click. And now what you're doing with this particular option is you're telling that you want to close uh, 40 pixel worth of gap right here. So this is less than 40 percent right here and that's why it took it as a close shape. So what you can also do is manually close out gap. So let's say for example if I were to go around and then uh, draw out a shape right here. So let me just go around draw out a shape just like this and if I were to go around onto the fill tool right here and click nothing happens even if the value is 40 or even 50 you can go around and increase it maximum is 50 as you can see. So in that case you can close the gap manually and to do that you can click and hold and here you can see close gap is an option. So all you need to do is click and drag this out over here to uh, so that you see a line and leave it and it says you have added a stroke to the drawing but it will not be visible unless you activate the so stroke from the view menu. So you can disable this message out again but I want to know this I'm just going to press OK and an invisible line has been made right there. So now if you were to take the paint tool and if you were to go around select out the color and then click you can see that it fills out the color right here and there's this invisible line and the line itself is editable. So if I were to go around onto the tool right here click and drag you can see that I can adjust out the line right here. Same goes out with this particular line as well. So you can see that I can adjust it out on the way, uh, in the way I want. So that is how you can use the close gap options inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.